Okay, a ship leaves the dock and heads due south. An observer is watching from an observation deck that is 3.5 miles east of the dock. Okay, let's draw a diagram. If you're not given a diagram, you should draw one. So in this case, a ship leaves the, leaves the dock and heads due south. So that represents the motion of the ship. And an observer is watching from an observation deck that is 3.5 miles east of the dock. So let's call this distance right here 3.5. And then we're asked, after the ship has traveled 6.2 miles south, so this distance here will be 6.2, and those distances are in miles. After the ship has traveled 6.2 miles south, so it ends up down here, what is the heading from the observation deck to the ship's position? So if this observer looks from the observation deck here to spot the ship, what is that direction? And we're specifically asked for the heading, the compass heading, from here to here. Okay, well look at what we know. If I'm the, if the observation deck here is due east from the dock where the ship left and the ship went due south, then this is a right angle right there. So we have a right triangle and we know two of the sides, the 3.5 and the 6.2. So we can, in this case, we know the two legs of the right triangle. We can use the tangent function and let's, uh, let's call this angle theta and we can say that the tangent of theta is going to be the opposite divided by the adjacent. So the tangent of theta is going to be 6.2 over 3.5. So theta will have to be the inverse tangent of that the inverse tangent of 6.2 over 3.5. Now this is not hard to see, but it's a lot easier to see if you have a diagram. So that diagram really makes this problem easy. So in general, if you don't have a diagram, make sure you draw one. It makes a big difference. So we do this calculation on the calculator. Theta comes out to be 61 degrees. That's this angle right there, 61 degrees. Now we need to find the heading. So we're doing the heading from this position to this position. So that direction right there, and this is based on the compass bearings of north this way south and east over here. The heading is measured clockwise from north, so we need to find this angle. If we start at north and rotate around that far, that's the heading. So this little angle right here between this arrow and due south, that must be 90 minus 61. See, this is a right angle right here. And if this is 61 degrees, then this has to be 90 minus 61. So 90 minus 61 is 29. And then the angle that we're looking for is just going to be 180 plus that 29. 180 gets us to due south, and then 29 more gets us to this direction right there. And you can do that in your head. 180 plus 29 is 209 degrees.